Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab. Today we have a very simple and easy to follow video on how to install your Intel Core Ultra 200 series processor, otherwise known as Arrow Lake. And here we have one of these CPUs. We actually have the Core Ultra 5 245K. This thing is around 300 bucks, uh, potentially very, very good value. We don't know how good yet, because when I'm doing this video, uh, we can't actually show you any performance numbers. But this CPU, uh, like the Core Ultra 9 and the Core Ultra 7 models, does not have any pins on the rear. Now, this may come as a bit of a shock to those of you moving from a much older AMD platform. But the reason why I'm doing this video today is because the pins are now located in the processor socket and they are super, super fragile. And unfortunately, motherboard RMAs, or at least most of them, are caused by damaged pins in the processor socket. So a huge amount of you out there are building PCs, you're not aware of how these, how fragile these pins are, and you end up bricking the motherboard and having to return it. So I'm here today to stop you doing that so you, you can get all your PC together and you can look forward to a problem-free weekend, hopefully, building your new gaming rig. It's a very, very simple guide, but just a few simple steps will prevent you from accidentally dropping your processor and dom uh, damaging the delicate pins in the processor socket. So with the uh, the new Core Ultra series, it's up to you how you hold it. I kind of prefer to hold it um, edge to edge like this, uh, so top to bottom, so I can kind of move over and lower it into the processor socket with the socket latch open. Um, pretty much identical situation to the LGA 1700 socket before it. So if you've already successfully installed a processor into one of those motherboards using the 600 or 700 series chipsets, then you probably won't have a problem here. And uh, obviously quite different to socket AM4 if you're coming from an older AMD system. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you leave the black socket, uh, socket cap in place. That is there to protect the processor pins and you do not need to remove it manually. Let the processor push it out when you're closing the latch. That is what it is designed to do. So leave that in there for now and it will keep the pins protected until the very last moment when you need to install the processor. The next step is to just practice lifting up the processor and moving it over the socket very, very low. So you, what you don't want to be doing is when you're installing it is lowering it down from a height because if you drop it, like so, it's pretty easy to do, especially if you've got uh, oily fingers or something, that will kill your motherboard. It will damage the pins in the socket. You don't want to do that. So what we don't want to do is just practice moving over very, very low. Don't have your memory installed either. So have a clear run from one side, nice and low, about a centimeter or two, half an inch above everything else, and then you can drop it in. So once we're practiced with that, next step is to open the socket latch like so. So flip up the latch there and then open up this section here. That will reveal the socket with all those delicate pins. So you don't need to do anything else other than drop your processor in now. So you just need to move your processor in like so. Orientation on the vast, vast, vast majority of motherboards, your processor and the text on here aligns with the rest of the motherboard. There are also notches at the tops of the motherboard uh, socket that align with notches on the processor. But you can also see that the, uh, the text here, hopefully you can see that in the camera, it just aligns with everything else. So as long as you can read the text down this way and you have your IO shield here and everything else, that will make sure it aligns. But another easy way is just to align the, so the socket pins on here. If you can actually see that, I know a lot of you out there have a bad eyesight as well, and those tiny, tiny latches down there, those pins can be tricky to see sometimes. So it depends which way works for you. So. Now we have the processor in, just make sure that it's seated properly. Um, we can see that it's sort of equal all around, all around the edges and that kind of thing. So now what we want to do is to close the bottom half, so lift it up on its hinges, and then make sure that the when you close the latch here, that those two, that the uh, latch up here actually compresses the, uh, the part that you've just lifted up. So as we can see here, this latch actually moves this section here and it clamps down on the panel that we've just moved up and you press down like so. Now you need a reasonable amount of force to do that, um, or easily doable with one finger though and you want to hook the latch under this notch here. Now while you're doing that, this cap will have been pushed out and your processor is installed and we have no damaged pins. That is it. Super easy, very easy to follow. That is all you need to do. Just remember, don't remove the socket cap, move your processor over at a very low height lower it in in the correct orientation, which you can see by the text on the CPU aligning with the motherboard or with the sockets and the pins on the processor itself, and you are done. So that is how you install your Intel Core Ultra 200 series Arrow Lake processor.